everyone. Welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how to set up pass-through for the Oculus Quest 2 Pro 3 using Unreal Engine and the MetaXR plugin. If you don't have the MetaXR plugin enabled, you will need to download and install it. I've got a video linked in one of the corners in the description, so you can go and check that out for 5.3 if you need to. If you're doing this in any other engine version from 5.1 to 5.2, I believe it'll work. 5.2 definitely. But um, we're going to do this in 5.3, use the latest version that's out there, and then we'll get going. Uh, before we start, big thank you to everyone that's supporting this on Patreon and through the Discord. It means a lot. If there's anything you want to see, leave a comment down below and we'll get to it. Cool. So let's hop on over. Meta Developer Center. You should be able to sign up for a Meta Developer account or register for one. You'll need to do that first and then make sure Oculus Desktop is logged in. So you can then enable developer runtime features and then pass through over Oculus Link. So we're going to take both of those. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So I've got Unreal 5.3 loaded up so I can create a new virtual reality project. I'm going to do a new folder called uh, pass through. I did already re-record this and it was saying that I couldn't add it or add default INI files. So I've just changed the project location, so hopefully that works now. So we're going to do Q pass through, create the project. Once this loads up, we need to enable the Meta XR plugin. And then we're going to change some project settings at the same time. So we only have to restart the project once. And it makes life a little bit easier. What we want to do is go to plugins, virtual reality, we're going to tick Meta XR. And then we're going to restart the project because if we don't do that, it won't show up in our project settings. So we are going to have to restart this twice. Some of the back end changes that take place. So we are back up and running. We can go to project settings. Uh, what we'll do first actually was go to rendering. And we need to change this so pass through will work with the project. So in rendering, we want to go down to find enable alpha channel support in post processing. And then we're going to set this to allow through tone mapper. You see it's asking us to restart. We don't need to do that yet. We want to keep scrolling down till we find the MetaXR plugin. And in here, we've got a whole bunch of Oculus settings. So if you haven't haven't used this before, basically this is giving us access to features on the headset that we don't typically have access to. If you're using the Oculus Source version, you'll have settings on here that everybody else doesn't have access to, such as a uh, scene depth, which is something that we're going to use later, and then room mapping as well. So if you need those, I'm going to have a video coming up which is how to set up Oculus Source for Unreal. So keep an eye on that, and that will allow you to do room mapping in VR. Cool, so in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set pass through enabled, and then anchor support, anchor sharing, and scene support. We're doing these because chances are if you're doing pass through, you're gonna be using these features anyway. And supported MetaQuest devices, I find if we just click this three times, it adds the ones that we need, so Quest 2, Pro, and 3. Everything else can stay as it is. Right now, 5.3, uh, we can do support experimental features as well. I'm going to tick that. And then we're going to do restart now. So this is recompiling shaders. So once this is done, I'll be back and then we can take a look at getting pass through working. Cool. So now we're back. In project settings, we just want to make sure that MSAA is enabled. It should be by default, which is why I didn't think about it to begin with. Uh, especially if you're using the VR template to start out with. If not, you want to change anti-aliasing method to multi-sample anti-aliasing method. Oh, what a mouthful. And then we can actually start setting up the pass-through stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to VR template, blueprints, and we're going to find our player, so our VR pawn. This might be your character, anything else that you're using, which the player views out of. What we want to do is we want to select our camera component, and we're going to go to add, and then search for XR pass-through. So we search for XR, you can see we've got an XR pass-through layer. We're going to select this. On the right-hand side, we want to do support depth, no alpha channel, and then stereo layer shape. We're going to set this to reconstructed pass-through layer. And if we drop this down, we're going to set layer placement to underlay. And that should really be it. We can actually start setting up our scene now. So we're going to make sure that in our project, depending on what hard drive, hard hardware you're running, should be done by default, but just in case, go to settings, engine scalability, and make sure that we have, just check my notes, effect is set to epic. If not, it might not work. And now that we've done that, what we can do 
is we can start deleting some stuff in the scene so we can actually see our real world. So we want it completely black. So in this case, the sky's gone. So when we look up, we should ideally be able to see our room through it. So I'm going to go to VR preview. And then we're going to wait for this to kick in. And then once VR preview is up and running, we can actually look up and around. I've just realized it's not showing on Epic but it is working in the headset. So we're gonna remove some more walls. We'll just leave the floor. And what I wanna point out is something that I found is if you have the headset on your head before you press play and edit, or while you press play and editor, it will turn black so the pass-through won't display. Make sure the Oculus is off your head, press play in editor, wait till this window appears, and then put the HMD on. And now when it boots up, I can see pass through, so 5.3, you can see that I can actually move around and see the room. But when I'm in the headset, I can actually see pass through, and it's working fine. So that is how you set it up. Unreal's a little bit touchy, I think they're working on it right now. But that is how you set up pass through and get it running in the headset. So hopefully that's been handy. Cool, so if you want access to any of these files, once there's a little bit more information in them, uh, they'll be available on Patreon. Uh, shout out to everyone over there for making this possible. And without your help, I wouldn't have been able to buy a Quest 3. So, thank you so much. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.